Baltimore City's new speed cameras were billed as accurate and fair, but those assurances are now being questioned. WJZ is live near one of those speed cameras tonight. Amy Yancey explains why a processing problem is bringing back bad memories for some drivers. Amy? Well, Jess, transportation officials announced earlier today that there was a problem with some of the tickets that were issued uh, when the program first got underway. Drivers we spoke to say this brings back uh, bad, bad memories for them. They've been suspicious of the speed camera since the last go around and say this does not help. Just weeks into Baltimore's new speed camera system and its accuracy is already being called into question. Over the weekend, the vendor who runs the program issued the same citations twice. It was one violation. The speed was accurate. They were speeding. They just were sent two notices for the one violation. The duplicate citations were issued to speeders on July 31st, the very first day the city started issuing fines. I don't think that's fair. If I didn't speed twice, I should only get one ticket. DOT officials say this only happened on that one day, and any other violations issued on other days are not affected. The city relaunched the traffic enforcement program after shutting it down four years ago. Widespread errors led the city to refund thousands of drivers. I never trusted it before, and I'm still don't, I still don't trust it. Department of Transportation officials blame a processing error for the most recent glitch. I think speed cameras can be good, especially in like school zones, but not if you're going to have to pay twice or they aren't working correctly. The department is voiding the duplicate tickets and affected speeders no longer have to pay. Some motorists say they have no choice but to be vigilant. I think it's terrible because I watch these cameras all the time and I try not to get caught, you know, so you got to slow down. And just we're told the problem has since been fixed. The cameras are up and running, and yes, that means they are issuing tickets. Reporting live tonight, I'm Amy Yancey. Back to you. All right, noted. Slow down, Amy. Thank you. The Department of Transportation says that fewer than 900 speeders were affected by the error.